Welcome to a Solid Edge ST7 video tutorial. I will do the famous upcast scrimmer now in Solid Edge ST. Let's start with a sketch on this plane. I will use a circle. Diameter should be. 160 and that point should be on that circle. Then I need two lines for the trim. Should go up vertical to the center point and then horizontal. Let's take a look. This point should be on that point. Then trim. And these two elements should be for construction only. Then another line which goes up. And there is a dimension. 100 and that's it. Leave the sketch, finish this one, and make another one on that plane. This one should be something like this. I need to fill it with fifty millimeters right here. And some dimensions from this point to that point. This should be 55 and from this point down to that point should be 100. Sketch should be finished. Yes, now let's move to surfacing and make a cross. That's the first one, accepted. That's the second one, accepted. And I got this 3D curve. Nice, now I need two sketches on this plane, one circle with a dimension of 50. Close this one. And another one on the same plane. Again a circle. And this one should be 48. Close the sketch. Okay. Let's make a sweep. Single path and cross section. That's all correct. And I want to use as path this. 3D curve and I want to use this sketch and it should be scaled along the path 0 0.8 up to 1 
or the other way around. It's the other way around. One to zero point eight. Okay, finish this one. Yes. Then I need a rectangular pattern for this body. So we go for pattern and I will pattern the body, this body, along a sketch on this plane. Make a rectangle, come on, like this. Change this to fixed, make it three instances, make it 82 millimeters spacing, and in the other direction it's one. Okay, I could leave the sketch and finish this. Okay, then I need an extrusion with this sketch. Accept it. It's along this direction and it's 269 and finish. Okay, so I will go for a second body. Therefore, add body, no need to rename it. And I want to use this sketch, this cross curve, for a sweep. So I will go for sweep and I will select this sketch as a path, accept it, and then go for the smaller circle as cross section and I want to scale along the path as before and OK. Now I got two bodies. Then I want to, I will hide the other body. I will pattern this one. Body. And pattern should be on that plane. In this direction. Make it fixed. Make it three instances. Make it eight, two. And okay, finish it. And I want to have extrude with the smaller circle. Accept it in that direction. It should be two six nine. And confirm it. Okay, let's take a look. Two bodies. And I want to move, remove this one from that one. So I go for subtract. Target should be design body one. Accept. I want to remove design body three. Accept. Finish. Let's take a look and hide design body one. Sorry, design body three and show design body one. Okay, so I got already my main body for this Apka Scrimmer. Okay, so I think I will split this video up in two parts. Let's make this rendering quality which looks really nice and maybe hide all these elements which I don't need. So we'll make a second video for the rest of this Upgas Krimmer. So hope you enjoyed this one. See you to the next follow-up. Bye-bye.